have to use this system for just mail, though. You can access whole libraries of information. You can book theatre tickets, airline tickets, holidays. You can even chat to people live all the way around the world. In fact, as Z Wright now reports from America, the so-called information superhighway is eventually going to affect us all. The latest buzz phrase over here is the information superhighway. It's nothing to do with traffic signals and freeway madness. It's the idea that every citizen will one day have access to a massive electronic data bank. It brings together three bits of existing technology and uses the plus points of them all. First, the TV. A lot of American homes are on cable, and the cable network can handle massive amounts of data, hundreds of TV channels. But you can't talk back to the TV. It's a one-way street. Next, the telephone. The plus point of the telephone is that it's two-way. Messages can come into the house and go out from the house. But the telephone wires can only cope with a very small amount of information. And finally, the computer. The computer is a very powerful way to store and organize information. Bring them all together, and you've got yourself the beginnings of the information superhighway. It means that you'll never have to leave your bedroom ever again. You'll have access to information on any subject under the sun. All sorts of services will be on offer, including home shopping. This is a system called In the Bag, and it's a virtual shopping mall. You can go into any virtual shop that you fancy. Once inside, you can select goods using a data glove and find out prices and other information. And to buy something, you simply drop it into your virtual shopping bag. Thank you. Your credit card has been charged. Another vital service is called Video On Demand. Just like a video you get from the shop, you can fast forward, rewind, and pause at will. And best of all, you don't have to stop watching the vid to order some pizza to go with it. The system relies on massive supercomputers called digital video servers. They can store hundreds of videos and read them out independently to thousands of TVs. All right, that was quick. The information superhighway also lets you play games on demand. This is the headquarters of Sega in America, and they're pioneering the technology that makes it possible to play Remote Sonic. You plug an adapter into your Mega Drive, connect it to the cable socket, and away you go. For a monthly fee, you can choose up to 50 hot games and play as much as you want. There's also a special test drive section that lets you try out new games before they hit the shops. The Information Superhighway will also let you make very high-quality video phone calls. Z. Who are you talking to? Not now, Mom. I'm busy. Now, I know what you're thinking. How does Z keep his sharp, athletic figure if he never leaves his bedroom? The answer's over here. The world's first virtual exercise bike. There's a choice of courses from the complete tour de France to this rather pleasant countryside. And there are plans to produce virtual New Yorks and Londons. You steer by going right or left in the seat. As you go faster, you get a headwind from the built-in fan. If you go uphill, it becomes harder to pedal. If you're a competitive type, there's various virtual opponents to race against. Or you can link several machines together and race with your pals. There are even plans to connect virtual bikes to the information superhighway, so you'll be able to have cyber races against opponents from all over the world. But now, a confession. We cheated all that superhighway stuff over there. None of those services actually exist yet, except the pizza delivery. Although some of them should be available in pilot projects at the end of the year. Ah, ah. This is Z-Rite for Band Influence, lying somewhere on the information superhighway waiting for a cyber ambulance. <laughs>